tried to avoid him and stuck it in. Brian around the outside. Kenny might get stick. No standing inside and he runs into Brandon Hart. That will stick with things to four pass here. It's Harry Fowler on the little bit behind them. Tyson Jennings in hot pursuit. As that Jeb Hoop finds a little bit of drive up high on the racetrack and gets himself in trust. Charlie Ellis is absolutely flying back there to uh, Michael Larson for the better of Sarah Fowler to the letter. Jaden Hancock still in hot pursuit and Jaden Hancock closes the gap. Back then we go to Billy McDonald, big gap. Back to Logan Hill and the other one behind him. To Tim Walter, Gary Pagel, the 55 of Alan Strokes and at the back. It is Alex Jenner, as we said, they just leave them there. One turning around on the lane straight away. Side by side, Jeff Muller versus Craig Oliver. Tucked in there too is Kerry McIntosh. They're going to go side by side over the line, going down the back straight, and Chris Wilson goes back into the race lead. Around turn one, down the back straight away. Calamari cars, front cars holding their line, trying to come down the middle is Levi O'Brien. Gives 21 a little bit of a shove, get out of the way. Jake King laps the journey. Go, we're racing. Have a look at Berkeley. Berkeley will go straight to the outside. As predicted, and he'll get some drive up there unless someone gets it. Leads them into turn one and two. And as they head out towards the back straight away, he's got Travis Hutchison very, very close behind them. In battle with Travis Hutchison, Franklin gets it all wrong this time. Hutchie. Possibly up on the infield a little bit, and that's not obvious. So they're bringing up on TJ Horner. I think he's suffering a little bit of car problem. Race leader coming up on the tail of Curtis Field. Jaden Hancock has going to drive around the outside. Up the main straight away. The tail and touch, and uh, oh dear. Carter Armstrong down the inside of Pago as they go round turn one and two and Carter Armstrong hits the new race number two and I think you'll find that it's the Berlin car of Steve Bateman who holds on to three and let him upside down. So is Gordon Madalo running all sorts of trouble as Fletcher Smith and their three wide behind uh, Brandon Howe to take the right away Tyson Jennings. They're still chasing hard, and the lead car has, uh, whoa, done they something. the red 23. There's going to be a change very shortly for position number two. Little touch behind you. Will he go straight down the middle? Joe Berkeley, yes, he will. Have a look at Scully. Throw wide down the back straight away. And that goes into position number two. Luke Franklin, the one on the outside once again. Here's Stephen Freeman and this time it works. As Freeman goes in to position number two. Tomlin for our leader. Can he get it back on the racetrack? Can he get it mobile as they take the white flag? No, he can't. Billy McDonald goes into the race lead in the 88 car. The six car of Alex Jenner. That's the way they career down the back straight away and it's the zero. Michael Jenner, the race leader. Uh, Steve Van Zeeland is the track. Cook down low, still again. Callum Hall trying to make the car just as big and as wide as he can. They're coming from everywhere. Around the outside, Josh Hahn. He stays the car up on a big angle but manages to hold on to his position. Touch the race leader. Stephen Foster's around. Oh, we got an upside down and that's why we need the ammo open the gate, please, let him in. This time we get a, a green run off and running. 12 laps the track. Who leads at the moment? We got one up in the air. And that was very, very close. That will bring it. Slips down on the inside as the three cars career down the main straight away. It's still Lincoln Taylor at the moment and coming up very, very quickly on some of the slower cars. And Mike get it, gives him a little nudge, can't get by as they go around the outside of the hooky car. Another one down on the journey as takes the nose underneath. 
in turn three, and we're able to get by as they sneak down each side of the slower vehicle and leave the tank corner for the final time. And put your hands together, folks, for him, Levi O'Brien, Tyson, Lincoln Taylor. Here's the 13 car, off and running underneath the control tower they go into turn one, down the back straight, as uh, another car pulls itself on to the infield, and uh, got rid of Peter Thompson Look in front of Brayden Howe, back behind them will be the 83 car of John Roycroft, and then Cairn straight away for the final time, and it will be Josh Harm, Josh Harm to the better of Gordon Madolo. Gordon Madolo in for position number two and Steve Cook. Position number three. And off and racing. Good even start at the front with the Kane Richters down on the inside. Watch the one on the outside. Car number seven has had a big night. Three turns, uh, one and two, and down the back straight away. With uh, Curtis Peel it is. Trying to make his way up through the field as he goes underneath the control tower. Got a big lead. Probably the length of the lane straight away back to Curtis Peel. Next one behind him is Kane Lissier and Curtis Peel. One getting up on the infield a little bit and then... Uh, Heading towards the concrete was Kane Richter, but he manages to get it. Comes, folks, put your hands together for him. Jade and hang up. Two good. Curtis Peel across the line in position number two. Big night. Jaden Hancock, he's got a lap of honor, folks. Put the wheel in the night. Bit of poop and barge and push and shove, and that's what happens. Abel and Scott watch them as they head towards the start finish line. Go racing. It'll be hectic for a few laps. Round turn one and two. Elbows are racing. Joe Berkeley is going in the racetrack. Zach Harris gets it sideways. And a study passes his way through into position number two. Harris making a little bit of a mistake. Two turns one and two. He's probably got a uh, fairly comfortable lead at the moment as they go past the 20 pounds. Stephen Freeman underneath Gary Harris. Can't do it. The car gets all out of shape and Travis Hutchison drives around the outside of him. Down the back straight. It's still Joe Berkeley. Holding on Grimley. No checkered flag displayed as we see into position number three to complete round one of the Ian Butcher Race Parts Production Sedans Super Series of them. Ring one. Darren Kane goes to Abel and at the back Carter Armstrong. Another lap down for race leader Darren Kane as he continues on his very way in Zealand, he's got it up on the infield, as Gary Pagel has a look on the outside, but it doesn't work. It's much strong, Armstrong moving up, right on the tail, and then drives into him, and gets an airborne on the infield. Check a flag. Darren Kane. Michael Jenner, and then...